We're going to keep it closed until uh, the, the end of October. One lane was expected to open on the Kennedy in late July, carrying traffic from I-65 South to I-64 East, I-64 West, and I-71 North. But bridge officials decided to change that due to safety concerns. When we had one lane on the Kennedy Bridge back in January, we noticed how traffic was acting on I-65 southbound. Uh, it was spacking way up in southern Indiana. Uh, we noticed cars were, uh, were diving in at the last second to access that ramp. To avoid that from happening again, all six southbound lanes will be open to traffic on the Kennedy in October, with the Lincoln Bridge carrying six lanes of northbound I-65 traffic. The I-65 corridor, we've progressed a vast amount of the effort that we need to do. What's left to do right now is the southbound from the JFK to tie in with all the work that we've accomplished in the past couple years. Within about the next six weeks, if not sooner, bridge officials say they will be opening the new ramp from Muhammad Ali Boulevard to I-65 North. And then pretty much 65 is going to be pretty much the quieter part. Construction crews will then shift their focus to I-64 East and West. The new ramp from Story Avenue to I-64 West will also open this spring, making traffic backups and crashes in that area a problem of the past. And that will allow people coming on Story Avenue, up the ramp, and to go over top and land on the 65 northbound and southbound and totally bypassing that weave. Work on the East End Bridge is expected to wrap up just around the same time as the downtown crossing in December. Erica Coghill, WLKY News.